Is it possible to build a dock without any harm to the environment? In this presentation, you will see that it is indeed possible. You will see a dock with no deck boards being built without touching the marsh or water. We call this method of dock construction the TOPS technique, or Totally Piling Supported. It is made possible by an innovative machine that we will introduce in this short video. Five years ago, Dock Rider Systems was formed. John Rob Holland, a seasoned innovator, teamed up with Walter Lampe and Ben Wilder. They developed the Dock Chauffeur and the Dock Caddy, two products that help the homeowner more easily transport people, gear, and supplies. During this time, they became aware of several undesirable trends. The longer and wider docks were casting larger shadows. The added deck boards were becoming maintenance headaches and were often blown off in bad weather. The environment was increasingly being abused during the construction and repair of these longer docks. The answer is not to just stop building docks. The answer is to build a better dock. That's why Dock Rider Systems created the Sun Dock. As you can see here, the Sun Dock eliminates the issues with deck boards by just eliminating the deck boards. No shadow, no maintenance, greater security, and less or no damage during bad weather. The end platform is a traditional structure providing the homeowner with all the benefits of owning waterfront property. The Sun Dock is the perfect platform for the Dock Rider. The Dock Rider easily provides transportation to the water's edge while increasing safety, convenience, and fun. These innovations were immediately accepted by homeowners who recognized and desired these advantages. Sun Docks were permitted, built, and are now enjoyed daily by their owners. One system is even totally solar powered. The first sun dock was built in Florida by Pickett Marine Construction and is a beautiful example of our design. Unfortunately, poor quality of construction and damage to the marsh was noted when the sun dock was built in Georgia. There was also a I don't care attitude of many of the construction workers. These issues, primarily the environmental concerns, motivated the principles of Dock Rider Systems to find a better way. Two additional members, Pierce Rump, a professional engineer, and Rick Mortimer, joined the team with the mission of building a machine that would support itself entirely upon the pilings previously placed by the machine. Ben Wilder named this process the TOPS technique, meaning totally piling supported. Green Heron Docks was formed to operate the new green machine. Here is the machine being operated by Green Heron Docks. Having just completed a 10-foot section of dock, you now see the machine moving out under its own power to construct the next 10-foot section. Notice there is no contact with the ground and the dock builders are working on an adjustable suspended platform. When the machine gets to its proper location, it is secured to the sun dock by specially designed underriggers. Supplies are brought to the machine with the transporter. The transporter brings everything that is needed to build the next 10 foot section of dock. No supplies are dragged through the marsh. An uncluttered work platform increases the comfort and safety of the dock builders. After unloading, the transporter returns to shore to get the next load of materials. Rollers on the work platform make it easy to handle the heavy pilings. After the piling is placed in the vertical position, the base of the piling is located to the perfect location conforming to the exact design of the sun dock. An onboard laser beam is used to position this piling to within one eighth inch accuracy. The piling is driven into the ground, not water jetted. The ease at which the piling is driven is seen here. The hammer is lifted by moving the control handle back, then dropped with just the push of a button. The process is quick, accurate, easy, and safe. The 
piling into the earth without disturbing the surrounding vegetation. The piling is now cut to proper length. The excess removed to be used later. The adjustable platform or scaffolding provides a working platform for the dock builders to complete the end of this 10 foot section. Once this section of dock is complete, guidance is checked with the onboard laser system. The machine moves out 10 more feet. The transporter supplies the materials and the process is repeated. The underlying marsh or water is untouched. The sun dock and the green machine work beautifully together, making the TOPS technique of dock construction possible. After construction, if shading is not an issue, traditional deck boards can be added for access to the end platform. We will be happy to work with other dock building companies who share a concern for protecting our natural resources and are interested in learning the TOPS technique. The sun dock, the green machine, and the TOPS technique. A complete solution that achieves the goals of the homeowner, the conservationist, and those charged with protecting our natural resources. The sun dock, the green machine, and the TOPS technique. A solution that you can permit with confidence.